welcome to the last module in this module let's understand the summary of this poem the lake isle of innisfree which is written in 1888 by william butler yeats is a poem comprising three quadrants The poet spent most part of his life in Dublin and London, but as a young boy, he had frequently spent his summers on the Isle of Innisfree, a tiny uninhabited island within the Lake Logill in County Sligo in northwestern Ireland. Later, when he lived in the crowded and noisy city, he felt a strong desire to go back to the Isle of Innisfree. In the first quadrant, the poet describes how he would live in Innisfree. The opening line suggests his determination to go there. This is followed by his plan to be away from the restless life of cities and lead a very calm and simple life all by himself. He will make a small cottage of clay and sticks and grow his own beans on a small piece of land in Innisfree. He will have honey from his own hive. The poet has a deep longing to lead the life in the lap of nature listening to the music of the bees. In the second quadrant the poet gives some glimpses of the life that he expects to find in Innisfree In such a place he will find peace The pace of life will be slower and nature will take over He will thus breathe calmness in the morning and enjoy the brilliance of the midnight The purple colored light of the noon as well as the flying birds in the evening will be delightful experiences for him the magical qualities of day and night in innisfree are the reasons that he wants to go there in the third and the last quatrain the poet reiterates the need to fulfill his desire it is strengthened by his memories of the waves of the lake producing mild music while striking against the shore his longing is further increased when he contrasts life in cities with that in the natural surroundings standing on the pavement or a do- or a roadway amidst traffic and crowds he yearns for the idyllic island and listens to the music of the waves deep in his heart his desire to escape urban life becomes an obsession in this quadrant and innisfree lurks in his heart as a symbol of peace and happiness